Hey, we got fish screaming. Welcome to the show, guys. We're here with MFM Charters right here out of Sheboygan, Michigan. Port of Sheboygan is a few miles that way. We're just setting rods. Already Captain John's got a fish. Stay tuned. That's a nice one. Heck yeah. I'm gonna come around over here. You're being recorded. It's a nice fish. Good. Yeah, he's going right down. Hopefully he's not into our diver. I'm watching the diver. I'm not seeing it. Doesn't look like it's moving. It's not moving, it? nope. Yeah. Oh! It's a pig. It's a pig. Hold them up and show people what Sheboygan, Michigan, and the charter business will get you here. Didn't take long, did it? No, it didn't. In the sunshine of Sheboygan, Michigan. Yeah. See them orange fins? Look at glow. Now. On these bigger ones, you can't play catch and release, right, when you're fishing high fish? Yeah, we usually don't like to. We don't to. like to, but... No. And you know what? Fish. I'll take... I'll put them on the smoker. I, I don't, get to, take, on, I don't get to take many fish <laughs> home. No. Well, we filled the live well, Nick, because we said we were going to catch him right away, and we did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. We had the board surge back a little bit, and then it looked like the fish came off. Looks like there's a fish Something on it. popped up out there, yeah. We're, uh, we're checking the rod, and this is a perfect example of what you got to do when you're out here fishing. You can't just That's assume the fish came off. Something on it. I see him out there. We got a fish on, a small one, and you know, you drag him around for three hours and not catch nothing on that rod. So when you see a fish hit and the board starts acting funny, trust the board. Reel it in. Oh yeah, I see his mouth now. Oh yeah. That makes me think I'm wondering if this inside board's got, but this, right. this one's not acting as pronounced. Well, I, this one had a heck of a bend on the rod. Yeah, so exactly. Gave me a, That's a nice fish. That fish literally just turned and swam with us. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. When I saw the board swing back out, I thought maybe something had come free, it would clear it up. Welcome to Sheboygan. You know what this is? Sheboygan, Michigan smoker. Yep. We love those. Sunburst. Wow. Yeah. Up Beautiful. High. Up high. Up high. That's, that's how you know it's a good color right there. Pattern in them. Beautiful. Look at this fish. You can tell when it's colder water too because these fish don't die. They're yeah. swimming in the live well. Yeah. They're... And. Uh, that's one of the cool things. But hey, when you come to the port of Sheboygan, what you have to expect is that this port is a lot of times calmer. You see behind us, uh, this port settles down really quickly because the prevailing winds in Michigan are west-southwest. And of course, being on the northeast corner, the very tip, we're only about 20 miles from Mackinac City and, and the bridge by water. So what you really got to look at here is that this is a spot that you can come often. This isn't a spot that you have to pick your days real carefully. We're typically sheltered from big weather here. So this is a real option. If you've got a chartered trip on your mind, Sheboygan is a perfect port. It's an eclectic little town. It's got great eateries, great beer and wine places. It's got awesome people. Sheboygan, Michigan. The Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Strike King Lures, tie one on. Lose, feel the difference. And 
Wave Pro. Best ride on the water. Didn't you change it? Oh, okay. Actually, I think I can change that one, too. Yeah, I think you did. Five more minutes. Exactly. Talk to count our chickens before they're hatched, though. Look at fish on the screen. 67. See what we're doing here? This is why you got to have a good Garmin. There's a great big, there's a shallow reef right here and a great big feeding flat. This whole triangle is about 65 to 70 feet and all the rest of the structure is real pronounced. So this is a big flat. You see the fish laying right up on here. They come up from deep water and they fish and they find fish and food on this great big flat. You want to look for pieces of structure like this that jut out and create almost like a great big table. And we're going to show you the results of paying attention to your Garmin right here. Sheboygan, Michigan fish. That's right. You know, talk to us a little bit, John, about, you know, there's different strains of lake trout, are there not? Yeah, there's a couple different ones. I know we have, for sure, the Mackinac strain. and They're really bright, the other, right? Yeah, the orange, yeah, the real bright orange, fins. orange fins. You can really tell the difference. Uh, the other strain, I can't ever remember the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? They taste good they're, on yeah, the smoker. They taste, yeah, they're yeah. dandy. And, and a lot of people talk about lake trout, you know, in the past of being greasy and stuff. Lake Huron fish aren't that way, are they? They feed so much on gobies. Yeah, they're eating all the same diet as any of our salmon and any other of the good exactly. table fare. Exactly. And you find, you find if you're not going to eat them right away the same day, fresh smoking's a great way oh, to... Oh, yeah. That's probably my favorite fish on the smoker exactly Dude, you know you can more oh there we go yeah and you can the other thing you can do with smoke fish too is this once you be a big one yeah you know one of the things you can do with smoke fish a lot of people don't understand is you can smoke it and then backpack it in oh, yeah. whole fillets and freeze it oh, yeah. and a lot of people talk about lake trout and salmon species fish not tasting good after they're frozen if you smoke them first yep, and then put them in your back, back sealer, absolutely, they taste exactly the same. And you know what? There may be nothing better for an appetizer than a little chopped up minced celery, onions, a little mayo. You're making me hungry again. I know, and, and some Ritz crackers. <laughs> Just kind of swimming oh, there's with fish, us now. fish on the bottom here. Trying to get them to come our way. <laughs> they always want to go in the divers. Well, he thinks he wants to swim past the boat. That's a quality Great. fish. You know, one of the things that, that as you're watching John land this fish, you know, these are quality fish. These, these aren't just your little run-of-the-mill Lakers. These are no, really all, nice fish. We usually get some really nice Lakers out here. Beautiful. Got him. Oh, yeah, dancing and choking. Another quality Sheboygan, Michigan lake trout. Exactly. And you know that bite starts, John, right away after <laughs> starts right after ice out and, and oh, it goes I, all the way until until you can't until stand the temperature. Out in exactly. October. Yep. There's a there's an example, <laughs> guys. Go to change my lure and you're in Sheboygan. There's always a fish on when you grab well, a what, rod. One of the things you showed me too, and I learned this years ago, is when you pop a rigger, when you pop a rigger. And we'll talk about this right away afterwards. You just put that. Yeah, I just changed it. I didn't think it was on. doing anything. I was gonna put it, go to another spin doctor, and exactly, and we have one on. Got it. And one of the other things that you did there, John, is you popped the rigger and held it. Yeah. Don't just crank nope, it up. Correct? I always make sure because a lot of times I've done it before. I popped that rigger loose and didn't have a fish, and a fish came up and hit it exactly. after I release it off of the down rigger. Nice little eater right there. Got a clip oh yeah. This dorsal, so it's got a chip. Yep, microchip fish. Cool. We'll, we'll be cutting the head off of this one and sending it in, sending sending it in, it in with help the, the DNR, DNR to track the fish. Yes, we have to do that to keep our fishery. So when you're size. set, when you're setting, John, explain how far out do you do? We got our our track stacks rigger system for for a beginner. You've got that spin doctor. How far out before you put it on your ball? Uh, usually when I'm targeting these Lakers, I like to keep my spin doctor maybe 25 feet behind that ball. Okay. I like to keep it nice and tight usually. Sure. 
And that's just an attractor. They come in and they smack it yeah, when they see it. Yeah, and I've had fish hit the attractor and release off the dock. Well, and you said that earlier yep. that you saw one came in and hit the paddle yep. because he whacked it, but he didn't get didn't, hooked, which yep. they're hitting the paddle. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. That happens quite a bit. Well, another 70, 70, 75 foot fish, which is what seems like 70 to 80 has been the catch zone. Yeah, it's been a good number today for All sure. Right. And yeah, you nice. were just going to change it. Yeah, it was... No, let's not change it. No. The Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Offshore Tackle, leaders in trolling technology. Trax Tech, the ultimate fishing system. And Garmin. <laughs> Oh, it did. I watched it. I, it, I think I it did. Pop, so I know. Sure. Yeah, just, oh, it's just dogging, dude. <laughs> that's a good fish, too. That's if, a good even fish. Even if the diver's not released, that's a good fish. So what depth were we? 80. Right in that 80 range. And I was so down, I was about 140 back with this one. How, how deep do you think that was, Nick? We're roughly 65, 65. 65. So what we've seen, and we're going to show you, Chase is going to show you right here. One of the things we're picking up on the Garmin, a really good sensitive unit, will pick up that dark fuzz, which is a thermocline. And you notice all that thermocline is sitting there right from 50 to 60 feet. Now it's really important that your unit is good enough to be able to pick that up because that tells us exactly where the temperature break in the water is. And that's Nick where all the fish have been, correct? Correct. Almost every fish we've caught today is coming out of that 50 to 60 water column. Beautiful. Beautiful. Little, little, little nice griller. We like that though. Yes, we do. We utilized a few critical pieces of equipment on the boat today to catch these fish here out of Sheboygan. Probably the single most important thing you can have on your boat for trolling is a reliable rail mounted rod holder system. Now, I use the Trax Tex products. This here is a downrigger. It ended up being the hot bite lure for the day paired with a dream weaver and a little spin doctor or a, um, or a spin and glow or a fly. It just didn't seem to matter. If you were on a rigger with a, with a spin doctor, you were catching fish. So we got the, the rigger here. We got our down dipsy. We pulled one. When you grab your rod, that ratchets up just like this one's in right there. So you got room for two down dipsies. And then of course a triple bank for today we ran lead. This also works great if you're flatlining for walleyes or you're running copper for salmon. So basically we've got room on the back here for seven rods a side, one rail mounted system, all completely removable just with a couple of little uh, turns of the nad. You can just pop it right off. There's a cutaway here to pull it right out. It surely is. It is? Oh, 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 no, no. Beautiful. It is. it is. Let's leave it right in that. Another dream weaver. Wow, that is, that is awesome right there. Another nice little clean fish. Look at that. i tell you what. Atomic L-Live. These fish, these fish want this stuff. Well, John, we had an awesome day on the water. First of all, thank you so much Thanks to for you and Nick us, for, for taking us. Let's talk just a little bit about the hot baits. Talk to us about this Dreamweaver uh, Spin Doctor paired with a Spin and Glow, and I've got one here on the other side with a Whirly Gig that we ran off the rigger that did so well. What do you think makes this so effective? Honestly, I think today with, uh, with the way the sun was hitting this clear water, I think it had a lot to do with this tape. I mean, they can see that coming from Right, and as you far. spin that tape, we yeah. talked earlier about how it changes hues. Yeah, you can hues. see pink, blue, green, yellow, all the way through. Exactly, and that acts as an attractor to the super curious lake trout that come up, and once they see this, of course, whether you got a spin and glow right. or a whirly gig, which I like to use, yep. uh, you just have to see what they want, but the, the whirly gig is also a very, very effective lake trout bait. We almost call it lake trout candy, and. Shane at Dreamweaver's got tons of different colors to match what you do. And the cool thing is that you can buy these to match the same matching 
spin that's doctors. one nice thing about the spin doctors is they have such a variety of, of color and, and you can pretty much like you said just match it to any any bait that the fish are biting exactly and then of course this is a good standard color uh, super slim and today we had really good success to the point where i'm going to have to stop by shane and get <laughs> another one because we just tore it up today and this is a bigger magnum, more standard size yeah, spoon. Yeah, they like the magnum spoons out here. They really do. Yep, and the same thing with this tape. As, as yep. you turn this tape, you see pinks and blues and whites. And it's so effective to have those multicolored tapes. And also, the Super Slims come in a ton of UV. And I know UV is very we effective love out UV. here. Exactly. We love so it. if you're looking to increase your game when it comes to lake trout, Try some of the Spin Doctors, Whirly Gig, Super Slims, and Magnum Spoons with either UV or brightly colored tape. But really, if you're trying to increase your game and you want to check out Sheboygan, Michigan, John and, his, and Nick from MFM will get you on the water and experience a day like no other. Check it out online at mfmcharters.com or just give John a call. You can access him on my website and also online as well and on Facebook, John, you on? Facebook, we're on and also on Instagram. Beautiful. The Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Crestliner, forged with strength, defined by durability. Where were we? We were in just coming, coming off, off that off tip. Of that, little, that little bump. So in what? There. And this is going to be a long reel in because it's a high line. But it's what we have is yeah, oh yeah. Sh shallow structure over here and shallow structure in front of us with a little saddle in between. And we just cleared the tip of that one and started to turn in, and our far outside high line went, which typically means that fish is probably sitting right on the little point coming off the yeah. saddle. So we've talked about it already in today's show, and that is you have to have, we use our Garmin with map chipping, and you have to have that out here, even Great Lakes trolling, because you still are fishing structure. Even though you're you know, miles from shore, fish are still relating to structure. Better fish, so isn't it? Oh yeah, he's pulling. He's pulling. I'll give this couple plugs every so often. Here you go, John. You, uh, if you're steering, are we okay with our steering? Yeah, we're great. Perfect. How's he feel? Heavy. Nice. We like heavy. <laughs> yeah. All right. We brought Nick because I was bass fishing last week and my hands were cramping up. And, uh, <laughs> Nick, Nick is uh, Nick Best and John. Best the business. Exactly. Nick and John work together on MFM Charters here out of oh, yeah. Sheboygan. There we go. Head shaking now. Oh, and, yeah. And, and they're going to put you on fish. That's the biggest thing is people have ignored this northeast corner of Michigan for so long. And you and I Hidden chatted. Gem. Oh, it's. It, to me, has got with inland lakes like Grand yep. and Long and Hubbard, and then you slide north to Black and Mullet. You fish Mullet aggressively. Oh, yes. Some Burt Lake, and then, of course, Sheboygan here, nice the port fish. of Sheboygan. Coming right oh, at yeah, you. Oh, yeah, that's a really nice one. Sunburst. Oh, oh yeah. In Woo. the net. Sunburst. Show that one. Favorite color? Trout. Oh, go ahead. Oh Still yeah, got, in them. got lots of life in him. Oh, yeah. Nice beautiful fish. fish, beautiful fish. Yeah. Look at the light. Look at the colors. Welcome to Sheboygan. Exactly. Ten <laughs> colors of lead, so we got about 300 feet behind this board. <laughs> and that's why I let John grab it. Yeah, he, I seen him. He went for it, but he read that <laughs> he number said, on her. Beautiful. Great. Got me sold on it almost. Well, I tell you wow. what, we turned. I haven't reeled a 10 color in a while. <laughs> we, we turned. Uh, I'm loving this. For all of you people who have never been to Sheboygan, Michigan fishing, <laughs> you might have been here to see a cool town. You might have been here boating the river, you know. Yeah, the, the waterway. The waterway and all that. But if you haven't come here to fish, you are flat missing it. You get out give, past the pier. You get out past the pier. John from <laughs> MFM, Nick, they'll take you out. They'll show you what we're seeing right here, which is clean, clear, 
perfect quiet. water, filled with fish, and good luck seeing another boat. <laughs> yeah. There's no other boats out here. It's crazy. Couple freighters. Couple freighters, but everybody loves a freighter. Right. You know? We like orange tails. That's a Mackinac, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! Ah. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> and John, show that coloration of that fish in the sunlight for those people. The difference of oh, the strain of fish. Yeah, this is a Mackinac. You get that real deep orange color and how orange and, and just really beautiful the meat is. Oh, I mean, absolutely. It's almost like a tangerine. I mean, he's just nice and look at the girth on that thing. We got him today. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us here out of Sheboygan, Michigan with the crew from MFM Sport Fishing Charters. Check them out online, but most importantly, get up here to Sheboygan. Enjoy the beauty, quiet, small town, accommodating we people, love it. and silly good fish. Yep, come and silly. get them. Closed captioning brought to you by WavePro. Best ride on the water online at waveproshock.com.